If you're in slow tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of drawing a blank. Last week I talked about canonical medicine cats, so of course that led me to thinking about Clouded Moon's medicine cats. I figured it'd be fun to talk more about them and explain their history with each other. After all, like I said in my last video, medicine cats are important leading figures of their clans, and in Clouded Moon, that is no exception. All of us on the StarClan Battles team really love medicine cats and examining how they fit into their roles. So without further ado, let's get started. I will say that we do have a slightly different take on medicine cats from the books, and how they communicate with StarClan. It's generally closer to how things work in the old forest, and medicine cats rarely ever just chat one-on-one -on -one with their dead ancestors. It's not a big change, but it's definitely our own take on things. Introducing you all to them, there is Small Pebble of ShadowClan, Rensong of ThunderClan, Misty Snow of WindClan, and Orange Brook of RiverClan. I've talked a bit about Misty Snow and Small Pebble before on previous episodes of Drawing a Blank, and the whole team talked about Rensong and her poly relationships with Small Pebble and Hailstorm on our Valentine's Day livestream, so please go check those out if you would like to know even more. Each of these cats serve their clans in their own way, and each has their own connection to Star Clan. While Misty Snow isn't the oldest cat of the group, she has been a medicine cat for the longest time out of the four of them. As such, Misty Snow is the spiritual leader of the Medicine Cats during their Half Moon Moon Pool meetings and is often the one to receive the most vivid messages from StarClan. And while Small Pebble is also very spiritual, she never quite had the same connection that Misty Snow had with their ancestors, so she usually looks to Misty Snow to get her advice on her dreams. Misty Snow has been a Medicine Cat for a long time, since before Hazel Star was leader. She advises Hazel Star when she feels it's necessary, but Misty Snow would rather leave the leading for Hazel Star and Forest Leaf, especially since neither of them are particularly good listeners. Misty Snow knows it's better not to waste her breath on them when they become stubborn about something. Besides, Misty Snow is a busy cat, especially with no apprentice to help her out. Small Pebble is recently the sole medicine cat for Shadow Clan, but she's handling the workload well. Small Pebble has always had an uncanny ability to sense her clanmates' wounds or illnesses, so Small Pebble's got a lockdown on her clanmates' good health. While she's not always confident around the other medicine cats, Small Pebble is a force to be reckoned with inside her own clan, and even Hawkstar wouldn't question her orders. Thanks to Small Pebble, Shadow Clan is one of the healthiest clans around the lake. Small Pebble and Rensong also frequently meet at the border between their clans to trade herbs when necessary. On the other hand, Rensong and Orangebrook both have a bit of trouble reading signs from their warrior ancestors. For a long time, StarClan didn't talk to Rensong at all, which frustrated her as an apprentice to no end. Her brother, Thornheart, was the one who started his training as a medicine cat because of his strong connection to StarClan, while Renpaw trained as a warrior. Thornpaw might have been able to communicate with StarClan, but he struggled remembering all the herbs while Renpaw was a natural at memorizing them just from her few visits with her brother. It soon became clear that Thornpaw just wasn't cut out for the job, but ThunderClan needed a new medicine cat as soon as possible. The current ThunderClan medicine cat, Fransway, had to step down as ThunderClan's medicine cat due to breaking the medicine cat code. So Thornpaw and Renpaw ended up switching positions, and they were both very happy with how it all turned out in the end. Rensong's best friend and girlfriend, Hailstorm, was a bit less enthusiastic about her switch over to being a medicine cat, but Rensong put her fears to rest. We can't have kids together, so I don't see why StarClan should care. This won't change anything between us. However, even after receiving her medicine cat name, Rensong was still having trouble receiving messages from StarClan. Misty Snow pulled young Rensong aside and told her not to worry. Receiving prophecies from StarClan would either come in time or not and that she should just instead focus on being there for her clanmates. If StarClan needed to speak to her, then they would find a way. Now Rensong has come to peace with her relationship with StarClan, and while she can now occasionally get a prophecy or two from StarClan, she still mostly receives prophecies through her brother, Thornheart. The oldest of the group, and the least experienced, the others wonder if Orangebrook has ever been able to communicate with StarClan at all. 
Orangebrook has lived most of his life as a RiverClan warrior, with a mate and his kit Silverblaze. But when RiverClan's previous medicine cat mysteriously vanished, and Orangebrook's mate died, Orangebrook stepped up to the task of medicine cat for RiverClan. And for a cat with no previous training, he gets the job done. Orangebrook also finds the life of a medicine cat to be easier than the rigorous daily patrols and hunting Rainstar forces the other senior warriors to do. So he considers himself pretty lucky to have gotten this position and is very thankful for it. While Orangebrook's heart is in the right place, Misty Snow, Rensong, and Small Pebble do find themselves frustrated with Orangebrook more often than not. As an older cat, sometimes Orangebrook has a hard time taking advice from his more experienced peers, and since Orangebrook has a daughter around the same age as Rensong, Orangebrook can be a little patronizing with his dadisms around her. You'll get it one day, kiddo. When Rensong and Misty Snow are at their limit with Orangebrook, Small Pebble usually finds a way to keep the peace. And while Orangebrook might be a little out of his league with the prophecy stuff, he's very appreciative of their patience with him and teaching him how to take care of his clanmates whenever he's in over his head. In a few extreme cases, Small Pebble has even come to River Clan to help Orangebrook out and do some one-on-one -on -one training when Misty Snow refused to aid River Clan, due to River Clan's constant hostilities at Wind Clan's border. Even though River Clan is also pushing at Shadow Clan's border, Small Pebble just can't help but feel bad for Orangebrook and give him a helping hand. Orangebrook knows he should probably find himself an apprentice soon, but Rainstar hasn't deemed any of the current kits or apprentices suitable for medicine cat training. But as leader of River Clan, Rainstar has a much stronger connection to Star Clan than he has, so he trusts her to find the right cat for the job. Eventually. Altogether, these medicine cats are just doing their best, and while they help and encourage each other often, each one is proud to serve their own clan. And each specializes in different areas to help out their clanmates. That's going to be all for me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed hearing more about Cloud and Moon's medicine cats. I've been dying to tell you more about them, especially Rensong and Orangebrook, since I haven't talked about them at all yet. Hope you're having a good one, and remember to stay inspired. 